Hey, what's up you guys and of course welcome to another alternative factuals video um i know it's been a little bit but you know it's a typical two weeks and i want to tell you guys about a story or kind of a new and upcoming comic book now this comic book that i particularly receive and that's also available to the public as we speak is over 70 pages and it's created by black tooth publishing uh basically this book is like a nice you know three story action pack kind of book it includes details on three different individual stories and i kind of want to talk about one of them today i'll kind of go over the next three videos and kind of make videos about them specifically because i don't want to give away too much but ultimately i do want you guys to uh be able to understand some of the lore behind the story and some details behind it and i'm going to intentionally make sure that i don't give out too much details because i do want you guys to buy it because one is being created by someone who's black two is being created by someone who's black from new york city this is really someone who's putting effort and quality behind what he wanted to do and especially when you hear his story about how he even got started in this comic or wanting to create comics and actually chasing his dream i want to support somebody like that in general so the first story i want to go over today is called dog pile now just so you know for future reference the story that um well the book actually have three different stories 70 pages so basically it includes a story about um snake bite dog pile and adastra which is basically just three separate stories that i believe exist in three separate universes but this is just amari malik's way of trying to you know get his story out there by creating this larger kind of graphic novel of three individual stories for everyone to enjoy and they can also purchase and get especially but i'll get to that later on so the story i want to talk about first is called dog pile now for all of you guys who are big dog fans or have pets and dogs that you just love to death this story is for you it kind of takes that concept and how animals and dog dogs specifically can be used as a way to emotionally recover from something and then it amplifies it by 10 and then it gives it superpowers so i want to give you just a basic rundown of how this story is kind of going to transpire but like i said i don't want to give overwhelming detail about it because i want you guys to go out and buy it and i don't want to spoil anything so at approximately the age of 10 there was this really crazy accident it was a fire that caused daquan rocky to lose everything now at the time he felt really powerless he was really young and because of those those circumstances he sought out strength as well as a new family and eventually at some point he did find that power within himself he did find his new strength he found his new family but it's not what you would typically expect for someone of his age to kind of find that strength in that family but his new family just happened to be a group of seven dogs now what's interesting is now that he's like this adult after he experienced everything so this is obviously years down the line um he returns home with his dogs and basically is confronting his past that for the most part he's been trying to avoid and even in the comics you can see that there's panels where he's still dealing with that fire like he sees fire and then his mind just flashes him back to that moment in which he was a little child and he saw that whole accident so he's still very much dealing with it he wasn't totally over it in a lot of ways you know he was just simply avoiding it or burying that part of him so that way he would not be afraid and what's interesting is you don't know how Daquan even got his powers and how his powers work in connection to the seven dogs. Because it seems like the seven dogs have their own set of intelligence. Well, we do know dogs, you know, they can be pretty smart. They're roughly, in terms of their mental capacity, about like a six, seven year old. So dogs can be pretty intelligent. But it takes that concept and then like i said amplifies it and then gives them powers so that these dogs can have full-blown conversations with him um they can pretty much live normal lives they can function use the bathroom do all that and then they have this telepathic connection with him because i believe in that grief he experienced there is this sort of i guess power that he felt in connecting to these dogs that gave him strength and then he gives them strength and thus creating this unbreakable bond which also i think somehow manifested or maybe activated some abilities he may have those details are not you know specifically said in this particular story but i do want to take notice that the powers the dogs the connection that they have seem to be very strong and there obviously is some sort of connection on how he manifested his powers due to these dogs now he could have always had it and then the dogs were just a circumstance in which he you know activated his powers but like I said, they don't really mention it too much in this article because I'm, you know, I'm assuming that later on in later issues, we are going to find out information about this. 
But the story basically just follows the adventures of Daquan because he wants to help his community. He wants to make sure that what he experienced, nobody else experiences, especially children. That's very Batman-esque in terms of, you know, Batman's mission is to ensure that no child gets, gets to experience the feeling of having their parents shot in the alley after a movie. And, you know, he, that's pretty much his driving purpose. That trauma just keeps him going so that way he can try his best as possible to prevent, you know, what's kind of happened to him when he was younger. I just want to mention one of these simple facts as well about the story that you can pretty much observe, but I want to make clear. So you can tell this takes place in an urban environment. And then there are some undertones that you will quickly begin to see when, regarding race and how people perceive him, as well as just, you know, it's very much how things are nowadays. It's very much have some of that reflection of life, how things are today, especially as a black man. And but the but the beauty of this is the beauty of this comic in particular is it's not super duper overt. It's not like one of those situations where they're shoving it down your throat. They're like really trying to make this point of, yeah, I'm black. I'm oppressed. I'm black and I'm oppressed. If anything, it's like he's black. And then even though he does experience prejudice, despite the trauma he's dealt with, he still has power. He still has family. And then he still chooses to do the right thing with it. So that's what makes this super duper dope is the fact that, you know, this this is not this is still coming from the experience of a black man. But there's no overt, you know, story of being oppressed or anything along those lines. So basically, we're still getting this really nice story that's very relatable in certain ways. And it still touches upon the principles of prejudice, especially for someone who is black. But also it does it in a way that's very, you know, like touch and go like they touch upon it. They leave it alone, touch upon it, leave it alone. It's not shoved down your throat. And I think that's what makes this comic really well in particular and received it very well. The art is very well also. And I believe that this story has a potential to kind of dive deeper into his trauma and how he's been dealing with it and also explain his powers. I'm actually really curious about how he manifested his powers because I did mention this before. I feel like his powers um, at least they maybe I don't know, actually, but it could be maybe inspired by some sort of inspiration of like, I don't know if any of you have seen Naruto, but Kiba, his dog, their relationship was borderline telepathic when it came to the way that they function and fought and his dog had abilities. Well, the same thing with his dog, except he has seven of them. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm curious about how the powers manifest as well as how his powers are connected to the dogs because they can be telepathic with each other. They can teleport. They can kind of do a litany of things. And it seems like he's the source of it. So I am curious about that. But just like I want you guys to buy this comic book, I want you to pay attention to all the stories that are going to be coming forward. I have to mention some details so that way you're able to get this stuff and you know actually support people who are like this so the kickstarter will be a 40 day a 45 day pre-order campaign starting on september 30th and ending on november 14th and this money will go to towards printing the pre-order comics and funding future series and more comics so basically these are just first issues of stories that were compiled into a single first volume um, the books are already completed and early copies have been sold. So promptly after the campaign ends, the comics will be printed and shipped. So these comics will be available as a combined anthology graphic novel, or you can get them as one shot comics individually, um, at various tiers. And I believe the first tier is um, starts at $10. Um, in the description, I'll include the links and as well as their, you know, Instagram and to their company as well as some you know basically public figures of their uh company in general but i think you guys should go out grab this story i think it's worth you know definitely reading because this story has a ton of potential and i like to support black comics comic artists comic companies i like to do that because these are the stories that are going to be the forefront of comics in the next 10 years because of the fact that now that we have a platform now that we're able to tell our stories and have access to the tools to do so we're going to get so much farther just go support the the kickstarter i i will be really upset if y'all didn't because i know a lot of you have been in the comments hey we need more black comics well here is your opportunity go support these comic book artists these people who are creating stories from our perspective and help you know boost these comics so that way we can continue to get them and reach out show love let them know that i sent you and i hope i see you in the next one Peace.